Okay, the very first thing that I do is I take the tobacco out of the pouch and I spread it out on a really thin layer on the table and I'll let that sit and dry out for at least 15 or 20 minutes until it's almost crunchy dry but not quite. Uh, I use Gambler Mellow Pipe Tobacco and straight out of the pouch it has just way too much moisture in it to use the injector and, and get a decent cigarette. It'll almost always be packed super tight but still at the same time have about a quarter inch void at the end of the cigarette and it just works a lot better if you let it get almost to the point of crunchy dry before you uh, start to inject some cigarettes. So I'll let this sit for about 15 or 20 minutes until it gets good and dry and uh, come back and make some cigarettes. Okay, now that I have my tobacco dry, I've got it in a bowl here, and uh, this is how we make a cigarette. I'll take a little bit initially and put it in first, and take my fingers in a, a hook shape like that, and press the tobacco really firm into the corners because uh, on this machine on either end of the hopper there's a, a tiny little void that if you don't get the tobacco shoved in there really well you'll either have a void at this end of the cigarette at the filter or at the tip so we make sure that we have that pressed in pretty hard out the outside edges and then I'll take a little more and as I'm putting this in the center, I'm going to rub my fingers together to grind it up a little bit because the pipe cut tobacco has a little bit larger cut than this regular cigarette tobacco. And I find that this actually makes it a little easier to uh, fill the tube if you grind it up just a little bit to get the, the cut a little smaller. And you'll see that I'm not pressing down hard when I'm putting it in the center of the hopper I'm just lightly touching it just to kind of get it to settle down. Now we'll stick a tube on the nozzle and there should be just a little bit of resistance when you're injecting the tube but not a whole lot. And as you can see it's uh, perfectly made. It's uh, not very tight but it's not really loose in there. I mean, you can still kind of squeeze it. Uh, if it's too tight, it's hard to draw on. But most importantly, it's all the way to the tip. I'll make one more. There's already a little bit of tobacco that gets left over inside the hopper, so you don't need to add that much more this uh, next time around. Just enough to separate it in the center and then push it to the outside edges really stick it in there and then take a little more grind it together to make the pieces a little smaller and then just lightly tap it into the center stick on another tube There you have it. Works like that uh, pretty much every time.